Pride, and I'm very pleased to be able to welcome King here in the warehouse. Paul, Paul King himself. There's Mike, Jimmy, and there's Tony over there. Welcome to the warehouse. It's very nice to be here. Thank you, are you telling me you made that? Shut him up a minute, will you? <laughs> Keeps answering back. I know. Hang on, just squeeze him in it. There, be quiet just for the moment, all right? Easy. And Paul will do the tricks with you a bit later on, yeah, and we'll explain later. to everybody what they're all about. Now, you're on top of the pops for the first time. A few weeks ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think of it? Well, obviously, it's uh, ambition fulfilled to go on there. It's yeah. really surprising. I mean, I was expecting a great big studio, you know, and lots of people going, yeah, 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 and all that. And you get yes. there, it's a very small studio with little sets all around the place, and everybody's headed around. But it was great fun, obviously, to do it. Very exciting. What have you been doing since you made that video? Because that was a while ago, wasn't it? Oh, God, that was ten months ago. Uh, well, we've toured concert. We've toured with Fashion uh, Culture Club. On our own. <laughs> Coast Club was brilliant. That was about 80, 90,000 people. Are there. you still touring at the moment? We're now on tour on our own. Yeah, we were in Loughborough last night and Aston University tonight. Gosh, you must be very tired. Keeping going, keeping going. <laughs> keeping going. Well, look, you're going to be here all morning, aren't yep. you? Taking yeah, calls a bit yep. later on. Of course, you can call King on 811-8055 later on this morning. Um, but something I'd like you to do while you're down in the warehouse. Uh -huh. now, you've been practicing with yeah, these cuddly toys. Actually, yeah. These are no ordinary oh, cuddly toys. I have to explain. They've come fresh from the toy fair. Hello. That's Polly Parrot over there. You've got a parrot, haven't you? I've got a cockatiel, actually, yeah. That's a little mini one. Called Toby, yeah. Oh, hello, Toby, the cockatiel. Yeah. It's a real one, not a cuddly toy like this. These are, in fact, only the prototype of these particular cuddly toys, but we're giving them away as uh, warehouse bargains this morning. Mm -hmm. But they're very special, because if you just... I'll leave, this, I'll leave this mainly to you, because you're better Sorry. at this than me. Squeeze if you squeeze them, they make a noise. But then you can carry on a whole conversation with them and they react to whatever you say. Now you can actually make this little dog, little puppy dog sing, can't He's you? He's freaking out here. Something like <laughs> All right, go. Hello, darling. He so you can me. make him sing his song because you made him... S no, he's not singing. You made it... Go on, see if you can make him sing his song. Come on, sing a song for me. No, he's Whistle not going to today. <laughs> Crow, see if you can make the parrot sing, will you? <laughs> Tony, you were good with the parrot earlier. See if you can do it. Go on, Tony. Come on, baby. Got it. Star of the day with that. Uh, You've done it. Well no. done. Well, now we've got a question to give these away, haven't we? Do you uh, remember what the question is? I'm no, trying to remember. no, I haven't got a clue what the what question is. What was the question, cause... Mike? The question was, Winnie the Pooh was a stuffed toy as well, similar to this. Who was his owner? What was the name of his owner? Who was Pooh Bear's? Pooh Bear, was it? Yeah, mm. Pooh Bear. Sorry, Who Pooh was Bear. Pooh Bear's owner? And answers on a postcard, please. Saturday Superstore, BBC TV, London W12, 8QT. And if you are the lucky winner of these cuddly toys, we'll get them through to you as soon as we can. It could be about three weeks, because as I said, they've got to come over from America, you see them. The models are just a prototype. All right. That's right. We'll be seeing you later on, okay, yeah. won't we? Look, Look forward, forward to that. To that. Philip Hayton for coming in and having a nest of people on the phone. And sorry if you couldn't get through on the number. Right, it's time for the pop panel. We've assembled a wonderful mixed bag of people here who are going to have a look at three videos. Uh, the first of which is Kim Khan's new single. This is Invitation to Dance. After you've heard it and seen it, this lot here will be telling you what they think about it. Uh, quite like the, the feel was good, but uh, I like this like Howard said to a certain degree. The, the, <laughs> the, the, uh, the video was like earlier, they all copy each other along the line. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, I agree with the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> No, the, the actual video uh, distracts from the song, I think, um, to a certain degree. Well, when I, when I was watching it, anyway. right. uh, I feel that the video is more interesting than the actual music. OK, Jim, do you feel it's maybe better to watch it with your eyes closed? Probably, yeah. yeah. A little Nile Rodgers sort of guitar line now. I don't know whether he did actually do it or not, but I spotted. And it might well have been. <laughs> Someone's going to write to me next week and say, well, of course it was. Why didn't you know that? Right, Wendy, how do you feel about that? You've come off the homework hotline now. Are you ready for this? Um, oh. mm -hmm. I think really, I mean, a video is ever, really never going to be as good as a song. Really, you know, the song decides how good the video is. It's a great way of getting a mass budget video very cheaply, I'd have thought. I mean, <laughs> to get all those people in right. doing all the bit right. and all that, yeah, cost a few million. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I think, like everybody else, it does distract from a song. Okay, and uh, the fourth member of King, Mick, on the end there. I liked it. It's good. You did? Mm. Yeah. Because if you get too it's hot tiny. and all that stuff, you can take yeah, it off you if you want. want I, better, I better have, actually. <laughs> it's pretty a bit, sure. It's a bit yeah, roasting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, on the whole, a bit of. And the occasional as well. And not out without the odd. 
as well. Uh, right, the second one is Latin Quarter, a new single and a new video from them. This is Toulouse. All uh, right, Mick from King, your first nice punchy one-liners here from the... Um, I, I couldn't really understand it. There's a lot of bits of welding and that's swim, it, that's swimming pools and <laughs> stuff like that. Didn't understand it. You didn't understand it. Paul, do you I understand think, it? I uh, think it's obviously a very commendable effort on a very low budget. They've tried their best. Okay. Ian. Right. Uh, uh, right. I think they should have Jim. filled it with water. It'd been a lot better fun. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'd like to have seen them float underwater as well. <laughs> yeah. Not too keen either, did No, I didn't like it. Either. Right, Howard, what about I, you? I, I thought it was brilliant. I, I really Video like it. for the weather conditions and <laughs> for the song. Right, that's Latin Quarter and Toulouse, the third one coming up, the Bluebells, a great band. And this is their new single and new video. This is All I Am. Dark as the night. I think that's the best one out of the three for me. It's really you good. like that? Yeah. It sums up everything, you know, it's got everything about it. Uh, it's sounds good on the radio as well. Good Stones intro guitar line, a bit like oh, the yeah. City Roll is the singer. Quite raunchy. Yeah, right. right. One, one thing, why is Sarah never on the panel? I don't know, Sarah? Why are you never on the panel? Because nobody lets me come on. I keep oh. asking, but the boss says I can't. Oh, well, come over and sit in for two seconds. He doesn't know anything about music. Come on. I know a lot about <laughs> right, music. While you're coming over, I know come and sit on the end. The musician, he says, you've got to wear very wide trousers and you've got to have shiny <laughs> shoes. Right? Come and sit on the end. Wendy, can I, can I get your comments on that? Yeah. Oh. I hope the bluebells are watching, actually. Because the Bluebells slagged us, didn't they, boys? They did. They really <laughs> gave us a bad one. time. Oh, they, they did. They said Love and Pride would never be a hit. <laughs> 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 however, anyway, however, I'm, it's an excellent song, you know, boys. I think it's a very good hook, and I hope you have a very big hit with it, because you deserve it. Isn't that nice? That's yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I like that so much, I'm going to take my jacket off, because it's boiling. Yeah, well, it's too late now, because it's, oh. it's all over oh, now. So, oh, right. Take your jacket off, uh, thanks to everyone who had a go this morning well here. Thank on you, one, Jimmy. 811 okay. 805. Well uh, thanks to all our guests for coming in today. It was smashing. And next week, you've got David Essex coming in, uh, Sandra Ooh. Dickinson, and uh, we've got the. Uh, <laughs> was that oh, for David Essex, oh. John, or for Sandra nah, Dickinson? Just, uh, I thought Sanders Michael Jackson was in for a moment, the way he did that. <laughs> uh, uh, talent Heat 4, we've got <laughs> Keith in a raft race. Who knows? He might even lose him. Uh, cartoons. Oh, and, uh, no, I didn't mean it. He's Keith. not been well. And yet. another Mike Reed's going to be in the store with news for special competition. Who's that? I, don't know. I should start worrying if I was we'll you, mate. Bye bye. 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 Bye b